Primary hyperparathyroidism. This is where you have excess parathyroid hormone due to a disorder of the parathyroid gland itself. Now, you can actually get primary hyperparathyroidism in three ways. You can get an adenoma, which would be a tumor that's going to produce too much parathyroid hormone. You could have a sporadic hyperplasia where the cells just hyperplase for an unknown reason. That could also result in too much parathyroid hormone. And the third possibility would be carcinoma. You could get a parathyroid carcinoma, which would then produce too much PTH. However, the most common cause is parathyroid adenoma. Parathyroid adenoma, again, is a benign neoplasm, usually involving one gland. It will produce PTH, and that PTH will then, of course, raise the serum calcium. However, it's usually asymptomatic. If, however, symptoms are present, they will be based on the consequences of increased PTH and on the consequences of hypercalcemia. For example, if patients have hypercalcemia in the blood, there's going to be a high filtration of calcium into the urine, and so patients can develop kidney stones or nephrolithiasis. Another consequence of hypercalcemia would be that when you have high levels of calcium within the blood, you increase the risk for deposition of calcium on tissues, which is called metastatic calcification. The classic example of metastatic calcification is called nephrocalcinosis, where you deposit calcium in the tubules of the kidney. This can lead to renal insufficiency with polyuria, and so it's another consequence of hypercalcemia. In addition, the hypercalcemia can go into the CNS and cause CNS disturbances, such as depression and seizures. Hypercalcemia can also lead to constipation, peptic ulcer disease, and acute pancreatitis. This is particularly high yield uh, hypercalcemia producing an acute pancreatitis. And finally, because you've got high levels of PTH, you're going to have massive resorption of bone. You can eventually produce fibrosis and cysts within the bone, which is called osteitis fibrosa cystica.